standing here at King Street and University Avenue where a coalition of groups has just launched a campaign to show support for the King Street pilot project. Streetcar service has improved uh, in terms of uh, speed and reliability, but the pilot project has faced uh, quite significant opposition from the owners of restaurants in the entertainment district. Uh, so this uh, group of basically activists and uh, residents associations came out today to launch their own campaign to kind of counter that message and show that there are a lot of people who do support this pilot project and make it impermanent. It's a, it's a We Love King campaign. It's a way for uh, all Torontonians to show that they support the, the transit pilot, the, the improved time and reliability that's happening with it and to show that they want to support the local businesses. This isn't a bold move around the world. In fact, many cities did this 10 years ago. But when you seek to transform a street, not only is it necessary, but it's long overdue. King Street is the busiest surface level transit route in the in well in all of North America, certainly in the city. It's carrying more than 65,000 people on a daily basis. And before the pilot, well, it was often faster to walk than take the streetcar. And so if we're going to move people rather than simply moving cars, we have to reimagine King and reimagine our city. Well, we started the campaign because we thought that there are all these people who are having amazing improvements to their daily lives, but there wasn't really a way for them to voice their support for it. Uh, we also thought that it was important to have a positive campaign instead of making this about negativity. Let's make this about positivity and let's also make it about having a conversation and being collaborative and how we make this work for absolutely everyone, for transit riders, for businesses and for the city as a whole. But I think what's going to be really exciting is that it's going to be really activated uh, starting in April of this year uh, with all of the uh, things that are going to be doing, expanded patios, because we know as Torontonians we love our patios and we're going to make that season last as long as possible. So I think it'll be really exciting to see how people respond to an actually active industry.